My name is Sarah Cole. I'm 18 years old and I go to Bodine High School. Okay, so I was born in New York City and I moved to Philly when I was like about eight years old. So you can basically say I grew up in Philadelphia and now I live in Southwest. So I kind of grew up in Philly but kind of grew up in New York. I do a lot of programs, so I don't really have time to really find my interest. I like working out, I like going to the gym, it helps me relax my mind, but I don't really have a passion right now. So right now I do a lot of programs because I'm trying to find, my, I guess, my passion so I can know what I want to do when I grow up. So right now I just, most likely I like helping people. How about that? I like helping people. So any activity that can help me help people, I like doing it. So in terms of programs you're involved with, uh, are there any other than USL right now? Yes, I do a program called Summer Search. And in the summertime, we went to Dominican Republic and we helped build schools for the less fortunate and we was feeding them, we gave them clothes and stuff like that. That must have made you feel good. It is. That's nice, cool. <laughs> Well, I heard about this program one day, it was like a, I think it was like a Wednesday, and I was in school and my friend Kayla was like, oh, they have a student teacher night. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to go. She was like, come on, this girl's going to be fun. No, I was like, okay, I'll just go. So we was going around the table, I was talking to colleges, and she showed me like this farming program. I'm like, farming? I don't know why I, I want to do farming. Like, I'm Sarah. I'm like, what am I doing farming? And she was like, just do it. I'm like, what? Then when they said you got paid, I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually started liking it. Like it was fun. Like it's not, it's not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like milking cows and because well, that's what you think when you think of farming, milking cows and planting. But it was fun. It was real fun. I liked it. I made a lot of friends. So what impact Usla made on me is like it made me a better person because if you can see her before it is, I'm not really social i'm social but only to people i'm i know like i'm real open with people i know so it helped me become more open-minded how we become let people in more because I, I always have a guard up it's like right i don't know why you're talking to me i always have a guard up so it helped me open up more become more social help me to know how to react under certain circumstances so it, it helped me to just be more mature like show me that not every situation needs a bad reaction because in this program we do go through a lot, might be sometimes dis disagreement. So I learned let him talk, let her talk and get what you gotta say out too. So learn to be more respectful. Yes, I did encounter a struggle actually. So one time we was at like a little Christmas party at like an old folks home. And I'm Muslim, so I, I still wanted to do it because I didn't really care. So I'm like, I'm just go to the Christmas party. So it was a lady, like she was like the leader of the party. And she was making like a little speech. And she was like, oh, if you don't like this party because of the religion, you don't have to be here. She just said it and she looked at me. And I was like, okay. So that's before, I, I, that's when the program first started. So that's before Sarah Chain. So I could have went down, I had two different directions I could have gone. Could have went, Sarah, are you gonna hit her? Or Sarah, are you gonna calm down? So I, I was stuck in between, cause I'm like, I have too much to lose. I didn't wanna react the way my community expected me to react. Cause usually when I'm from, when you're disrespected, you gotta stand up for yourself. But I'm thinking this is not the time or place for me to stand up for myself. So I went outside, calmed down. I had to calm down cause I'm like, She's not gonna make me lose my mind because if I do, I'm gonna go to jail. So I had to calm down. Even you had to come and calm me down because I, I was about to cry because I was so bad. Like I, when I get mad, I cry. So I'm like, oh, I wanna hit her so bad. I gotta hit her. I gotta hit her. She was like, Sarah, just calm down. In life, he's gonna go through stuff where people are gonna say stuff that piss you off. You can't always react to bad stuff. So just, just, just calm down and I'll talk to her. So I calmed down, went to the party, had fun, ate good food. So that was a struggle I had to get over. Like, I don't like being disrespected. I don't. I just don't. So I had to learn you, not every situation you need to react with violence or cursing and stuff. That don't get you nowhere. It don't make you look even dumber. So I just had to calm down, just handle it the more mature way. Well, I'm a communication intern, and to prepare for the farm stand, I hope grow stuff, I weed sometimes. And I also have like group discussions about 
certain events we want to do. Like we had like a pancake breakfast. So I was talking, playing with that. We was going around giving flyers. So basically, I just talk a lot. I do a lot of talking, and we just we just talk about what we're gonna do and what we can what can we do to make the flyers stand better and get people to know about it and stuff like that. I will be going to Penn State University in the fall. And I'll most likely I'll be career I'm going for right now is social work. Like I want to be a social worker, and also it did kind of push me towards that because I like helping people. And even though it's like y'all might not think farming actually help people, but it do. It gets people to become more healthier, and I just like talking to people, hearing their problems. So also it did kind of push me. It made me realize I have a passion for helping people. This program, I like this program a lot because usually other programs, they're like the, I guess the leaders like to hold you, be like, okay, you do this, this, this. This program kind of give us a chance to do what we want, not what we want to do, but let us be leaders, let us do this, let us do that. A lot of programs, they like to just tell you what to do. Okay, you do this and you don't do this, you get kicked out of this program. Okay, they still have some type of boundaries, but they just let us do what we have to do. And it's helped us become, it helped us develop better leadership skills. So if it's, I wouldn't change nothing about my program. It's a nice program and I feel like it's real. They, and I feel like it's, it's a real understanding program. They understand we're teenagers. They understand sometimes we're gonna have mood swings. Sometimes we're not gonna be in the best mood. Sometimes we're gonna be mad. And they let us get, they let us get what we gotta get out. And they also, like Sarah, you also have to do this. So help us become better adults. So I really wanna change nothing about this program. If I want, it's gonna want to 10, I give it a 10. It's a great program. <laughs> Um, I would use I would use my scholarship money for my tuition. So I use my for my tuition because I need to pay. I don't want to be in debt. I do not want to be in debt. That's a, I don't have time for that at all. I don't. Want, I will pay for my books and stuff. So my scholarship money will go towards mixing my education. So yeah.